Ayo, today I'm gonna show you how to mix vocals like Dro Kenji, Juice World, Trivia Red, all these, you know, the melodic rappers, I don't know, it's just crazy, uh, I have no idea how to, like, start these videos because I, like, I don't have, like, no intro, but, like, this is an unreleased song, I haven't, uh, released it anywhere, uh, it's, it's quite cool, I like it. Stay tuned, uh, to then to hear the final result, but, yeah, so, I got, um, I got, I got some, uh, main vocals right here, you know? You're not the same old that our bars were like last week! Got a light up on my jet, bitch, we flying. That's everything just uh, without autotune, of course. Oh no, with autotune, of course. So first, we got autotune. No, wait, I'm gonna show you how I have I have a recording preset first. Basically, what I have is I have a limiter here. Basically, what it does is just put the ceiling down so my vocals don't go over the green line, cause then that makes it loud and yeah. I've got this one, uh, just cutting off some low end and uh, some more here by like 150, 160. I got a sound good ISO on uh, the A, uh, just to bring out the presence and make it a bit more excited. And then I've got this one just to cut down uh, some low end again. Then I'll record it like that and put it over to this, where I have my autotune. Put the reto speed to 5, because this is what a lot of like the main, like big artists have. They maybe have it a bit low or higher. Which just makes it so uh, it doesn't sound as too robotic, but the song, I wanted to sound a bit robotic, so I'll put it at like, just 7 maybe. Uh, I got a compressor next, which uh, basically just compresses the vocals. It uh, takes up the high peaks and brings them down and takes down the low peaks or the low frequency, not the frequencies, just the parts where the vocals are very low. So the threshold is at uh, 25 or minus 25.1 dB. The ratio is at 7.4. Uh, and the gain is up by 3.8, uh, which just makes it a bit louder. But the type to vintage, I don't know why. A release and a tag I didn't change. Uh, we have our first EQ. So this EQ um, basically just cuts out a lot of the low end. It takes out, take down some low mids here. It takes a, I just, I don't do anything with five. I take up some treble and high end here. Here I got a, a Fab Filter uh, Pro Q3, which just takes down the low end. Here I've got another Fab Filter Pro Q3, which just like takes down some of the bad frequencies I didn't like. So if we take this one, take it up all the way. You're not the That's, a shitty That's a shitty frequency, so we take that down. And then we got this. You're not the same old that our bars were like last week. Uh, we got another sound good ISO on the C setting. Just like, yeah, quarter water way up uh also just boost some of the lows and just mids to make it more present i got an ns1 stereo which just like basically um just takes out the background noise uh i could actually you know what just for the sake of this video i'm just gonna put it over to uh, a fruit limiter because it, it works just as well put the gain up a little thresh a little and then release like that boom that's just to remove background sound so it cuts out all the volume when it's quiet uh, i got a c6 stereo this is waves i'm sorry but uh, this isn't necessary this is necessary so if you buy the preset or copy along i would want you to buy it but um i mean you don't need this this helps in making it more like uh, it takes down the bad frequencies so you can see if it's like this you're not the same old that our bars were like last week. So it focuses on the middle and up here. So let's say that the there's like very harsh frequencies up here. It just takes it down. You're not the same old that our bars were like last week. Then we got some um, effects here. You know, some reverb and some delay. delay. First, we got the reverb. You can use fruity reverb for this, but I use vintage because I personally think it's better. Again, you don't need this. You do not need this. You can use fruity reverb. I just prefer this. I got to uncover space uh, and put the, what's it called, mix to, uh, you know, 10. Pre-delay 20 and decay for 1.3, uh, 30, what? I put the low cut to uh, 360 so it doesn't have so, many, so much like low end. And then I have a delay here turned down like quarter way. And I put it to, uh, I'm pretty sure I just went over here and chose ping pong. And I just put the pan a bit like this. So all together, it sounds like this. You're not the same old that our bars were like last week. Got a lot of on my jet, bitch, we flying. Next, I put this over to a vocal bus just because there was not like there wasn't any more effect effect racks or tracks here, so I just put it over to a vocal bus. Uh, where well, I've got fresh air. This just boosts the highs. Why is it so high? I'm sorry, I, I don't know. I'm I'm not good at this. Okay, so here it just does like this. You're not the same old that our bars were like last week. There's a lot of like sounds which are annoying, so that we're gonna cut them down here. But first, we have the glue. This uh, compressor, I you can see, I still haven't paid for yet, which is not good. Yeah, I totally got this uh, for... I've totally paid for this. Uh, basically, what I did is uh, minus 12 dB by the threshold, the range full, make up uh, 1.4, release, and ratio, and just copy here. Or buy the 
preset, you know. Uh, I got two other EQs here. I just cut down the bad frequencies. And then I just take some low end out and some low end and some mids and some high because it, it, it just helps. It really helps. This, you could use Maximus, but I use Fat for the Pro DS because it works better. I also totally got, I, I, I paid for this. I, I paid for this, okay? Don't, don't kill me, Fat Filter. Uh, I just put it to Mel Split Band up here. If you go up here, Mel Split Band, and I put this one down. Then we got, um... The last thing, which is another EQ, just cutting out the bass and the highs. That's it. Uh, that's it for the main vocals. Um, then I got some background vocals that I layer on top. Then let's move on to the ad-libs, ad which sound like this. Yeah. I just have a auto-tune, as all the other ones. EQ, it's basically the same, except I've got some more low-end. Uh, just took down the bad frequencies. Low end, sound goodizer. Here I got a flanger, uh, which is basically just for the intro. And I've got a parametric EQ that just cuts out the low end in the intro. Then we've got a panomatic, which just pans it from left to right. Left to right, you can see. Yeah. So cool. Then we've got a abstract chamber, chamber which is also, I think, uh, pretty sure this is actually free. Parametric or delay, same thing as the others, just turn it up the mix a bit more. Then parametric each EQ2 is just to take out the low end as I showed you. And then the last thing I have, the very last thing, is um I took the vocal here, this vocal, cut out the first word and uh bounced it out. I reversed the vocal, put reverb, then exported it, then reversed it. So it sounds like this. That's how it sounds. Uh, so reverse it and it goes like this. But we have some effects on, boom, boom. I just took the main vocal and copied it over and then changed some of the EQs, you can see. Okay, so that was everything. Um, everything together sounds like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to buy this vocal preset, there's a link down below to a pay here link where you can pay. I think it's ten dollars. Um, this has got quite a few of uh, vocal presets, so I hope you enjoy this. And uh, hit me up on Discord if you need any questions or if you have any questions. Um, here's my Instagram. Go follow me. I post quite often and uh, music-related content and just my life. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave a like on the video. Uh, comment if you want to see something else, like comment what you want to see, if I should cover anything music related or what I should do. And um, yeah, peace.